What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Ben. I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I'm bringing you a highly, highly requested video. A bunch of people in my comments have been asking this from me. And in today's video, I'll be showing y'all my coach adjustments. Now, for this video, I will, I will be showing multiple variations of it. Because if you're a very skilled Madden player, you're going to have to be able to know how to change your coaching adjustments throughout the game in order to box what your opponent is doing. And certain coaching adjustments do certain things and have certain effects on the um, defense you're calling. Now, <clears throat> let's hop right into it. Now, first things first, man, we have the basic, the basic. Just go ahead and set your curl flat, uh, curl flat from anywhere between 15 and 25 yards, man. That boxes a lot of stuff. Just setting your curl flats from 15 to 25 yards. So if you're a basic Madden player, if you're going, even, even if you're going against a basic Madden player, if you just set your curl flats to from 15 yards to 25 yards, you'll be able to box everything they do because most um, casual Madden players, they don't know what to do when you have your zone drop set back um, and you're playing everything towards those sidelines um, past 10 yards. Um, and yeah, so that's the basic, most basic variation of coaching adjustments, man. Um, and so, yeah, so the next version I want to show y'all, it is going to be, um, let me fix this right quick. It is going to be um, the way I like to run it in, certain, in most of my defenses. And I take my curl flats and I set those to five yards and I take my zone drops um, for just my regular flats. So my zone drop flats, if y'all didn't know, this means hard flats, cloud flats, and soft flats, these are what, um, this is what this category is for. And I set these to 20, and this pretty much boxes a lot as well. And I like to bait, and I take my outside safeties and put them in those soft flats, and they're playing 20 yards. So most people will think they're running deep, and they'll kind of like throw a corner out or something like that. And then I'll just get the lurk because they're not playing so far back. They're only playing the 20 yards. Um, and so, yeah, so this is the main way I like to run my zone drops is 20 and 5. Now, as far as anything else goes, man, um... Like I said, zone drops have effects on certain things. And what I meant by that is if you set them to default, you'll be able to run match coverage, man. If you don't know what match coverage is, it's the seam flats and the um and the soft flats. Those are two flats. If you want to run those like match coverage, you're gonna have to set those um, um these flats to default just so they can play that match coverage. Because if you don't set them to default, they're gonna play however many yards back you want them to play, and they're not gonna follow a man like they normally would with this um, being set to default. So yeah, so that's pretty much the most important part about this. Um, if you're looking to run some match coverage from those flats on the outside, be sure to set this to default, man, because if you don't, um, like I said, they're not gonna be running match coverage, man. And so let me go over these one more time. So the most basic is just go ahead and take your curl flats, 7 to 15, that's the most basic variation of zone drops. Um, if need be, just go ahead. If you're trying to run a double Mabel, double Mabel, set these to 15, and then go ahead and set your, your flats on the field, whatever. Put those put those guys who are already in flats, put them in hard flats, and then take your linebacker, put them in curl flats, and they'll be running 15 yards deep just to kind of stop those outside routes. But the only problem, the main problem I have with this is sometimes and a lot of the time they don't play fully towards the outside of the field with these curl flats they kind of play like a few inches away from the outside of the field which can cause an easy completion on those sidelines man so that's why i like to run this variation um i take my curl flat set those to five yards and take my regular flat set them to 20 yards or even 15 whichever one depending on what they're doing um but the regular flats they just play towards the sideline harder and more um, and way better than the curl flats do. But the curl flats, um, like I said, that's just for the basics of things because most cover threes and most zone coverages have curl flats on the field. So if you don't know how to do those adjustments and things of that nature, and you just want zone drop set, go ahead and use your curl flats and set those back to 15. But if you do know how to do those adjustments, I suggest running this variation because like I said, they play the sidelines a lot better. They're a little bit more active. And you can take those outside safeties and drop them back in soft flats, which will cause them to only play 20 yards. And you can finesse a lot of people and bait a lot of people on those corner routes um, with those um, with them thinking the safeties dropping back um, as deep as possible. And so, yeah, so that's basically my coaching adjustments. And then, like I said, if you want to run match, be sure to set those to default, because if not, you're not going to be able to run match. But yeah, that's the capital of the video right there, man. If you enjoyed this video, if you found this video very, very useful, be sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, so and turn that post notification bell so you get notified every single time I post. And comment down below what you would like to see from me in the future. And it's your boy me, and I'm out. Jumping the coop and go top speed. I can't believe that they cross me.